Does he ever talk about us? Oh, yeah. Especially you. I feel like I already know you. He doesn't seem too keen on seeing Mum and Dad. Uh, he just doesn't like being pushed into things, that's all. He never did. You know, he told me a lot about the way things were. I think you'll find he's changed. That's your influence, I suppose. Or maybe he's just grown up. It happens, you know. You know, I never expected to find him so settled. Do you think I'm too old for him? No. I can relate to older people better myself. I don't mother him, if that's what you're thinking. It's none of my business, really. Just as long as he's happy. You've been together long? About four months. And yes. Yes, I think he is happy. But you must ask him that yourself. Well, I'm all finished now. So can we go and see Mum and Dad now? How did he look? Terrific. Oh, and you had a good talk with him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can hardly believe it. We're going to see our Mark again. I bet he's looking forward to it and all. Yeah. <laughs> you don't sound too sure. Look, the thing is, Mum, you've got to give him some time. You've got to give him some breathing space. Yeah, I'll try. It's just that I'm so excited. I wish your dad would hurry up. It's right, we've got plenty of time. Yeah. There's something I want to warn you about first. Mm -hmm. He's living with someone and she's got a couple of kids. Yeah, it was a bit of a shock for me too when I saw this little kid run up to him calling him Daddy. I thought I'd tell you because I wouldn't want you to choke on your food. Yeah. Do you, um... Do you think he's taken on more than he can handle then, Shell? Well, I don't know. I mean, he seemed quite happy as far as I could see. And she cares about him. That's the main thing. Oh, Arthur, where have you been? I thought it was a tie from the governor. I thought if we're going out to dinner, I'd better smarten up a bit. But it's only a calf. Oh, I see. Hey, I know it's stupid, but I feel really nervous about this. Yeah, me too. After all, it's only our mark, isn't it? It's not like being introduced to Roy. <laughs> hey, have you got that picture of Martin on you? You want to see that? Yeah, all right, send me back. Great. Right. It's a shame your mum's ill. She would have been over the moon about this. Yeah, well, it can't be helped, but at least we're going to see him. Yeah. I suppose if everything goes all right, he might want to come back with us. Dad, there's something you ought to know before we see him. Yeah. There's something you It's funny, yeah. Pete said there was no snow at all in the square. Nice here. Do you come here often? What's so funny? Do you come here often? Sounds like a chat up line. Yeah. Do you come here often? No, only in the mating season. <laughs> Dear, it dates me, doesn't it? I just wondered if you'd been to this cafe before, that's all. <laughs> Quite a lot, actually. It's just round the corner for us. Oh. Well, saves your cooking, eh? <laughs> oh, Mark does most of that. I can see why you like eating out, then. Oh, he's very good. Oh, our Ian's still gone on his cooking, you know. He's made us some smashing things. Mm, sometimes he uses my vegetables. You didn't know I had an allotment now, did you? No. Oh, it's really great. There's nothing much on it at the moment, of course, being winter. Just a few sprouts, cabbages, swedes. But you ought to come up and have a look at it sometime. Oh, I've got some real plans for it. We did some uh, potato picking last year. It's back-breaking stuff, that. Yeah, but it earns you a few bob, doesn't it? Um, are you all right for money? Yeah, we're OK. Don't wait, this meal's on us. That's the least we can do now that we've found you again. Mm -hmm. It's all right, we're both earning, so we treat you this time. Oh, well, lucky you said that. Otherwise, we would have ended up walking home. See, we only plan to come for the day. It's really good to see you again, son. <laughs> 